hi guys uh, in, the la in this last video i discuss about if one weld is qualified in stainless steel he can weld carbon steel is it possible i given a proper explanation for that one in this video uh, i will explain if one welder uh, qualified in carbon steel p number one he can weld uh, stainless steel yes sure because addition of a backing is not a essential variable for the welder only the deletion of backing is the essential variable so addition of backing for stainless steel there is addition of purging gas we are using to control the oxidation in stainless steel so no issue then we will come for a GTO process there will be F number 6 for both uh, uh, carbon steel as well as the stainless steel filler wires I will discuss about the what are the filler wires they used okay so that also no issue uh, then summit will be processed for a uh, stainless steel uh, we are uh, using e347 e308 e316 l-1516 like that that will be uh, f number five commander five for uh, carbon steel e7018 rod will come under f number four so f number also the essential variable but it will uh, be very so uh, he cannot for SMRW but in one case I already discussed in the last video that is one welder qualified for in F number 5 he can weld F number 1 and F number 5 that is F number 1 means rotate electro E6020 but here if one welder qualified for F number 1 he can weld F number 5 that's a possible thing okay guys please subscribe my channel I will update more and more videos related to uh, like this rare topics and uh, rare interview questions not a rare interview questions as uh, repeatedly asking these questions but uh, most of the guys don't know the proper reason uh, okay thank you